Hi everyone, I'm Rita Muradova, a personal stylist and wardrobe consultant from Kyiv, Ukraine, and we're currently actually in Kyiv, Ukraine, live from here for my walking wardrobe. And this is actually a long time coming back collection video that I've promised you before. But before that, we've been in Lisbon, Portugal. Now we've moved back to Kyiv permanently, which I'm really happy about. And this is actually one of the happiest places in our apartment, which is a walking wardrobe because all of these treasures, I just love observing them. And this is specifically my whole back collection as it is and this is the video that you've actually requested you guys so just let me know if you would love to see more of these collection videos like my shoe collection other things collection my wardrobe let's start with the bags and uh, first of all first and foremost i don't have that many bags, I think so. I'm pretty selective what what I buy, and I usually have a couple of or like triple of brands I absolutely love and trust, and those brands are actually the majority of the brands in my closet. So let's start with what we see and let's start with the first shelf in no particular order though. So let's start with these first bags that we see and those are Chanel. I love, 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 love Chanel bags because they're so in your face and most of the bags, Chanel bags that I have are actually in your face ones. Obviously Chanel has like more like neutral bags, but I love Chanel for specifically these like crazier styles, more in your face styles, more um, particular unique styles. And this is the first one that I'll show you. This is a top handle bag and I absolutely love top handle bags because they're so versatile because you can carry in them like this, but also on your shoulder. And this one's really roomy. This is a vanity Chanel bag. This one was bought like a couple of years ago and all of these bags are actually investment pieces obviously because of their cost but also because of the price that keeps going up year after year, actually half year each each and every like half a year or six months Chanel goes up in prices so this bag was worth much less than it is worth now even though it's being worn that's the craziness of this bag market and uh, this one fits absolutely everything this can fit actually show you I have a an iPhone 13 plus max whatever there's just so much to the name and it fits it perfectly with along with everything that I need for my back and um, one small hack that I have the thing I usually hear from my clients usually is that for example when they come back home they forget to switch over their things from one bag to another and they keep forgetting things so I actually invented kind of invented this hold all thing on my vanity here in my wardrobe and actually just let me know in the comments below if you want to see like a small kind of tour of my walk-in wardrobe so the thing is this is just a perfect thing to hold everything that goes into each and every of my bags so when I come back home the first thing I do when I just change clothes is I actually take everything out of the bag and put it over here so that I don't forget anything that's pretty essential for me to have every day and this actually fits everything and anything this is a medium-sized bag i'd say it goes with everything in my wardrobe it goes with something more crazy it goes with something more neutral this is a good travel bag actually because it's so unique but also fits everything so it's just absolutely beautiful and the next bag i'll show you is also a chanel bag and the next one is this vibrant pink color uh, i'd say this one's also medium sized they're kind of the same size but this one's less structured this one's more like cushiony but also fits absolutely everything this one also has a top handle bag and as you can see and you'll see later on i prefer top handle bags because they're so versatile because you can carry them for evening and both for the day and your you can be hands-free but also you could put this on your shoulder and you can carry it like this for the evening time it could be like a more like an evening bag and this specific medium size it's the most used size i think in my wardrobe in my bag wardrobe because it's so versatile because it goes with everything because it fits everything and it's still small enough to go for the evening for it to not to be too overpowering for an evening look and this one's beautiful color this one also 
could be a staking piece in a look, but also this could complement a vibrant different color in a look. So for example, this kind of a beautiful deep green color for a skirt, and then this could work beautifully with this kind of color. And I love mixing colors in a look. I love creating multiple colored looks. I don't, I'm not afraid of, uh, you know, color blocking. I absolutely love it for each and every season. And this is a beautiful bag to go to make it work for that reason. And um, actually I bought this one, I think a couple of years ago as well. Most of my bags I usually buy from buyers or via buyers because our Chanel store in Kiev, when it was working, it's not working currently because of the war, unfortunately, but when it was working, it didn't have enough stock, honestly, which is really upsetting. So most of the time I end up using buyers and they buy from Paris stores, from Milan stores, etc., etc. This is really, really comfortable for me and for my clients as well. And the next bag I'll show you as well is Chanel. This one's a tweed. This definitely is not the most practical of bags because of this tweed. And you can see that the color started fading already. And this usually happens with tweed and with Chanel in particular. But still, I absolutely love this bag because of this tweed finish, because of this material, because it's so unique and because it gives more texture to a look. So for example, in something pretty like basic and plain in terms of texture, like my look at the moment this could elevate it because of this uneven texture of the tweed and also the contrast with this beautiful not totally yellowish gold hardware which they started doing I think three years ago or something this is also a medium size but this also fits absolutely everything I have and I find that I usually gravitate towards the medium size more because it's still small enough to go with everything but it's not overpowering it's good for every day I don't usually carry a lot with me so I see most of the time kind of no point in carrying a bigger bag because it's usually heavier and I, I absolutely I absolutely hate carrying heavy stuff. The next Chanel bag I'll show you is one of the most recent purchases of mine. This one's a cream, beautiful, bucket style, uh, no top handle, but still absolutely gorgeous uh, Chanel bag. This one has a logo over here. This is on a smaller side, but this one still fits everything. And what's um, the signature thing for Chanel bags is they have this lipstick holder, which is actually just perfect for like a lip balm or something. And they have this card holder slits that you don't have to have your card holder on you, which is really convenient, especially in these smaller types of bags. This one's small enough to go perfectly for an night out, for an evening look, or for a cocktail party, whatever, but also is cute and uh, beautiful and holds enough for it to go with your like everyday look. And especially, I love fun bags because they add something like an oomph to a look. And this one's definitely a fun bag because of this absolute absolutely unique um, handle, which is a two-colored handle, and part of it is absolutely white and beautifully painted, and part of it has mm, chunky gold um, hardware, which is, you know, which adds a lot to a look. And it's still kind of understated to a point where you can still wear something crazy in a look, and it's not going to be too overpowering. I have more Chanel bags over there, but we'll just go to them in their order. And the next bags I'll show you are over here. These two beautiful Celine bags. To me, Celine is one of those brands that can do absolutely no wrong because their styles are essential, their styles are unique, and yet their styles are pieces that can be worn every day with everything for like centuries after that and they still be will be in style and there's no specific time limit on them so there's no like time bomb ticking saying like oh this is going to go out of style no this is a bag to remember this is definitely a bag to invest in this style is particularly is called a clasp Celine bag this one's absolutely beautiful this shape is very unique this shape is very vintage inspired I'd say like 40s or 50s but the thing to say about this specific model of a bag is that 
there's this particular thing about it. It doesn't hold that much because it's kind of more narrow up top. Therefore, if you put something kind of chunky in it, it doesn't close all the way. And you can definitely see people walking with this one opened because of this. I can promise you the reason they're opening this specific bag is because it doesn't stay closed once it has a lot of items, especially chunky items in it. Yet, it's absolutely beautiful. I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I have it in two colors because it's so unique and it's also pretty basic. It's going to go with everything. The thing to say about my bags and my relationships just with clothing overall, the accessories, etc., you can definitely notice I wear them and I am not the one to hide that. I'm really, really casual with everything I wear and purchase. And that's my rule. If I buy a bag, I will wear it. I will put it everywhere on the floor. Like, I'm not really, like, really precious with my belongings because they're made to be worn. That's my principle in life, specifically with my wardrobe. That, therefore, you can definitely see some, like, marks, some scratches, etc. To me, it adds some, like, chicness to a bag. It definitely feels like it's worn, it's loved, etc. So it doesn't bother me at all. If it bothers you, I don't necessarily recommend investing in a pricier bag because it's definitely, especially if this is a smooth leather, it's gonna get scratched. These two bags are bags that are gonna go with everything, absolutely. So if you're thinking of buying some feminine yet basic bags to invest in that are going to go with everything for your closet. It doesn't matter actually if you have a more feminine wardrobe or a masculine or you wear sporty looks. These bags are definitely worth considering because they're so unique and beautiful, because they have this feminine touch to them, yet they're so classy, they're so beautiful. They're gonna go with like this skirt suit look, they're gonna go with a sweatpant look, they're gonna go with a pantsuit look, they're gonna go with jeans and a t-shirt, etc., etc. For day, for night, for the night, you can definitely hold it like this. It's kind of on the bigger side, yet still it's gonna work, I think. And for me, these two are an absolute must-have for the modern minimalist because they have this feminine side to them, yet they're still very minimalistic and absolutely chic and beautiful. The next bag I'll show you is also Celine, and this one's a must-have for me when I travel. And this is an amazing bag. This is also a clasp collection, but this is a clutch from the clasp collection. This is absolutely weightless and beautiful. This has this, like, mm, nice, light gray finish with a beautiful yellow gold hardware with a thin shoulder strap which is really really practical when you travel because you can put it over your head on your shoulder etc but you can also hold it like a clutch and it actually holds a lot it fits absolutely everything you need for the everyday and also during the day and for the night and this is really chic and minimal and minimalistic enough for it to work for it during the day like with your jeans and a t-shirt look or your shorts on the vacation but also for like a night out with a mini skirt a mini dress with a cocktail dress whatever you need and also because of the color combo and the hardware combo it works with gold hardware with silver hardware with um, gold jewelry silver jewelry whatever you want and also it's really really minimalistic so i think this is definitely an investment piece for someone who's looking for the perfect clutch for each and every possible occasion. These bags, so the previous two and this one specifically, these bags are definitely not in the current collection, so you cannot go into the store and buy, in the Celine store and buy these ones. These were created by Phoebe Philo, who is the previous creative director in the Celine. So um, I suggest going to some resale sites and retailers and looking for the specific bag or the previous two bags. They're absolute gems to have in your wardrobe, especially if you're the minimalist who's looking for the chic side to your bag collection, who's looking to kind of elevate your maybe casual or looks that are on the casual side with something that's pretty new, but also work with them, works with everything. I think these bags are definitely a go-to in this case. 
The next bag is absolutely beautiful. This one's by Bottega and Bottega is also one of those brands I love in bags because of the quality, because of the design, because of the sturdiness and also the practicality. And also specifically for Bottega because of their work, amazing work with colors and shapes and sizes. And because of this intracciato work with leather, which is really unique and specific to Bottega brand. And this also, this specific intracciato work with leather creates a beautiful and unique touch to a texture and gives more texture to a look if you wear it with something not textured. So for example, my look at the moment is definitely on the less texture side because it has color but it doesn't have like volume and texture. So if you wear something like this with a look, which is texture-wise pretty simple, you can definitely elevate it. And this beautiful maroon wine color is also very unique and I don't have it in my back collection at all, except for this bag. This is a theme in my back collection. This fits absolutely everything, even though it doesn't look like it. It's pretty roomy. It fits my phone and everything in those hold all that I usually use. And this bag is also cool because it could be worn during the day, but also for a night out. And and this color is deep enough to work for like darker but also lighter brighter colors and for every day and for each and every season so this color works amazingly for spring and summer but also it works beautifully for autumn and winter so the next bags are definitely there's a it's going to be <laughs> pretty crazy and someone's gonna say like what is happening because she has two absolutely same like similar bags this is the same style even the same hardware same size but just slightly different basic colors and i love this bag so much this is the best in my opinion investment basic bag for someone's wardrobe if you're looking for something luxury but it's going to something that's going to last you forever and work with absolutely everything this is the celine again but this bag is celine box in medium size this one's a chocolatey caramel this one's black and this one's great and I absolutely love these bags because they're so practical so let me show you something so each of these bags they have a strap a shoulder strap which is a leather strap and each of these bags is a smooth leather which you can definitely see has a lot of marks on yet I absolutely love this specific type of leather and I wouldn't buy it in any other kind of leather because of the look of the specific look that this one gives and the shine that this one gives so I do not mind the scratches I'm okay with the scratches as you can see and this bag is really really cool because it works with everything so for example I have this kind of a very kind of I'd say avant-garde yet classy yet feminine look on me and this bag is going to work with this look as well but also picture like a jean and a t-shirt look this is going to work with that one as well this is going to look beautiful with sweatpants with pantsuits with dresses with something minimalistic with something not minimalistic and maximalistic and crazy and colorful and this is the reason i absolutely love these bags also they are really really roomy they fit everything really absolutely everything you can think of to put in your everyday bag and the size i love this specific medium size because it's so versatile so you can wear it for every day and this could be a travel bag a beautiful travel bag but also for the night for example if you're going out this could definitely double as a clutch is a beautiful minimalistic clutch look at this this is a complete look so it's really versatile and in terms of cost per wear which i really consider when i'm thinking of buying a bag this is really really cool because this is going to be worn absolutely every day so think of the price of this bag and divide it by the amount of times you're going to wear it and you will end up with a very small cost per wear amount which is definitely most of the time the goal for me especially if you're buying like a basic or a bag that is on the basic side because if you're buying something not really colorful and crazy and you wear it only once there's no reason to buy it you need to buy it to wear it like or to at least be able to wear it every day and this is definitely the bag to invest in so if you're thinking of one or like a starter bag in the luxury department to go for definitely go for the Celine box
Let's continue with our Bottega theme and go for these two unique and really cool, really special bags. This bag type is this bag model is called Bottega cassette padded cassette because it looks like a pillow, so like a padded uh, intrachato. You can definitely see the same leather style work with Bottega. So this also intrachato, but in the previous bag it was really flat, and this one's padded. This has this like blown up pillowy look. Uh, although this bag looks like it's going to work not with everything or it's going to be just too unique to have in your closet. It actually works with absolutely, I think, like 90% of my wardrobe perfectly. This also fits surprisingly a lot, almost as much as a Celine um, box. And what is special about Bottega is their work with colors. So as I've mentioned previously, I have that one in the maroon color and this one is a beautiful absolutely beautiful green and deep green and this one's lilac which is really unique and really hard to find in terms of bags and this bag is really really cool it gives also texture which is pretty hard to find in terms of bags because most of bags are created in this like smooth leather etc etc so this one's really really cool and it adds a lot in terms of texture to a look this also looks really avant-garde and as a masterpiece as a, an art piece in and of itself and in terms of a look i love pairing these bags so they're pretty crazy if you think about them i love pairing them with something even more crazy so my love for this bag is expressed better when i wear it with something like this so something crazy in and of itself like this vintage prada feathered orange printed skirt and both of these things play better off of each other so when you look at something unique like this which has uh, texture and color you think okay i'll pair it with something pretty basic but actually i love elevating a look with pairing it with something crazy in and of itself the next bag I'll show you is this beautiful, very practical hobo bag by Celine as well. This Celine is actually the the new Celine, the Celine without the Phoebe Philo, yet still very minimal, very beautiful, very practical, very unique. I don't have a lot of hobo bags in my closet. And the reason behind that is that because they're really not that structured and when the bag is not that structured, they don't really go well with a less structured of a look. So I usually go for something that holds its shape as opposed to something that's like relaxed. Yet I still have a couple of these bags just to mix it up in my mm, closet, in my bag closet. And this one specifically is really, really cool. And the color is pretty unique because it's kind of grayish. So it's a mix of beige and gray. And this fits absolutely everything so this is a cool like weekend bag grocery bag every day going out for a walk bag a mom bag i think because it could definitely hold a couple of diapers and other stuff that moms usually have i think just let me know in the comments below if that's true <laughs> if this one's really like as good as i think for a mom if this is gonna work i love pairing this bag uh, with like a knit costume with like a knit suit a cashmere pant and a cashmere sweater and then a relaxed coat and then this bag and then maybe sneakers or boots for every day and for a weekend for going like to a grocery store and then going for a breakfast etc etc so definitely this gives more a weekend relaxed vibe for me because it's not so structured the next bag i'll show you is also a beautiful brand, a brand that I have a lot of in my wardrobe, in my bag wardrobe, my bag collection, is the row, and their accessories are the best. So in terms of purchasing something from the row, I definitely think of a rule of going to accessories and shoes and bags as opposed to the clothing, because most of their clothing is definitely on the pricier side and sometimes kind of overpriced in my opinion in terms of what you get. It's definitely a beautiful quality piece, but it's not as good in terms of cost per wear as their accessories. So their bags are 
astonishingly good. They're really good quality. They fit a lot and their designs are pretty minimalistic yet very chic. And this one I think would work amazingly for someone who's working nine to five or nine to six or whatever, because this one's going to fit your laptop, your iPad, your work documents, your phone chargers, everything, your lunch, etc. And it's still going to hold this shape. And the shape is pretty cool. It looks like a sandwich in the best way possible. And the color is pretty, um, um, basic so it's going to work with everything that you have in your closet with something pretty crazy but also something pretty minimalistic it would definitely work with this look it would definitely go with pants and jeans etc with like sneakers and boots and uh, belay flats and I love the roll bags because they're so understated and their logo is so minimalistic and absolutely almost invisible so that when you look at this bag the first thing you see is not the logo it's the shape, it's the aesthetic, it's the color, etc., etc. And then you see the logo and you're like, ah, oh, that's because it's the rollback. I love the rollbacks. If you think of investing in something in the luxury market in terms of bags, I definitely, definitely advise looking into the rollbacks because they're so good. Their cost per wear is amazing and their color selection and sizes selection and style selection is really, really cool. The next two bags I'll show you are Bottega and these are pouches. Their pouches are really, really beautiful. These are clutches, but the size of this clutch is really crazy. The way I can usually test this one out is by putting my hat into a bag and this definitely fits my huge hat. And this fits everything you would need from a bag. And the beauty of this bag and the style of this bag is that this could go for every day so with your like everyday look but this could also work for a night out for a premiere for an event etc etc so this is pretty versatile so you buy one bag but this can work for different occasions and i have these this one in two colors i have this one a zebra print which you could think is going to be pretty hard to style but actually i love styling zebra prints and actually almost any animal print with something printed but also with a bold color so the key to working with a zebra print specifically so black and white combo is styling it with something colorful like this Prada deep green skirt or this printed Prada skirt so pick one deep color this could be a sweater a pantsuit whatever it is and pair this with a zebra and you will get an amazing combination and the second one is this neutral beautiful beige color with a smooth leather, fits everything, works with each and every look, with a jean and a t-shirt, but also with a dress for a night out. And I love these bags because they're timeless. There's no time bomb ticking saying, oh, they're gonna go out of style. They're unique, beautiful, look like art pieces, look like dumplings. They're kind of structured and pretty structured for a pouch, for a clutch, and uh, the size is really, really cool for every day. The next bag is this clutch by Celine, and this Celine is also the Celine that was with Phoebe Philo, and this bag is really, really beautiful. This is an actual, for me, this is an art piece. This is a statement piece. The color is deep red and this kind of maroony red this fits everything this also gives me some vintage vibes because of this kiss clasp this also has this pocket with a zipper that you can put your belongings into like something pretty valuable this is pretty secure actually and this works amazingly for day and for the night and this folding list so like this ruching is a cool way to add some texture to an otherwise pretty textureless bag and paired with this color it looks like a statement piece in a look but also this color is going to go beautifully with something bold like this green like deep navy whatever it is so even though a bag a colored bag may seem like something that could be worn only once or twice actually the more crazy pieces you add to a look the better it's going to work and the next bag i'll show you is actually also a red celine bag but this one's a hobo bucket this is not a hobo this is actually a bucket bag with a very unique clasp to it so it goes like this 
and then it snaps back and it fits absolutely everything. This is a bag that's traveled with me a lot. This bag has been to Paris, it's been in New York, it's been to different countries. And this is a beautiful travel bag because it's still structured. It's still really, really unique. The shape is really beautiful and it creates some like tension grabbing moment, but also it fits everything. It has a shoulder strap, which is really practical because for every day, I'm not the one to usually carry a lot of pouches and clutches because I need my hands to be kind of free to work with, like to hold my phone, to type something, to whatever, you know? So this bag is really, really cool. This bag is also the Celine that was with Phoebe Philo and her design in Celine to me are absolutely timeless and beautiful in terms of clothing, accessories, etc. So I am definitely an old Celine collector. I love old Celine pieces, especially in terms of accessories. And this one's an absolute must have. So if you find this one in the resale market, I definitely think and advise consider this one because this is a piece that is going to work with everything in your wardrobe. This is going to fit everything. This is going to work with different lifestyles. So if you're like a mom, stay-at-home mom, if you work around, if you have a lot of work documents, etc., etc., this is going to absolutely work for your lifestyle, whatever you have in your life. And the last piece for this part one of this back collection, because this is definitely a two-part video for sure, is this absolutely cute, beautiful, and really, really practical. And you would not think so. This beautiful bag by The Row, this is The Row The Knot Clutch. And this is actually a bag that goes like this. It's closed with only one button. So it stays pretty open, though I can tell you that there's not been occasion when something was stolen or something did fall out of this bag because of its shape. So when you put something in it, it goes like this. So it holds its shape pretty beautifully. And even though it looks like something that could be worn like once or twice a year for a night out or wherever, it actually is pretty, pretty, pretty practical. It could work with each and every look you can think of. It could work with sweatpants, with jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer. It could work with something like this, like a skirt suit. This could work with a pantsuit. This could work with this skirt, with this skirt. Because it has some shape, it's pretty unique, but it's pretty minimal or at least minimal enough for it to have its moment, but not to over power a look and also in terms of the material this satiny material gives more sheen and finish to a look therefore even if the look is pretty basic like a jean and a t-shirt and a blazer this will definitely give like this like oomph or like 10 percent of uh, beauty or uniqueness to a look that usually is something that is missing when you create a pretty basic pretty everyday casual look so this bag is definitely worth it. This is definitely an investment bag, but cost per wear of this bag is crazy low at this point because I've worn it with everything, with like leather, with jeans, with pants, with pantsuit, with sweatpants for day out, for every day. I definitely take with me every time I travel somewhere on a holiday or for a business trip because for the night out and also during the day, this works with everything. This fits absolutely everything. Also my phone, it's weightless, it's beautiful. It looks amazing. It looks like an art piece. So this is definitely, it doesn't look like it, but this is the back to remember. And I think this is the end of this part one of my back collection video do let me know in the comments below if you love this collection style and also if you think it would be good to continue this collection style specifically in this walk-in wardrobe of mine if you want to see a tour of this walk-in wardrobe of mine also do let me know in the comments below and um yeah this is it for this video let me know in the comments below if you liked it if you didn't like it thumbs down thumbs up do whatever you want to do and uh, see you in the next video bye